What's up YouTube? Welcome to part three of Cook My Rides. So today I've got Andy's Whoa. 2000... Dude, what? You... I mean, you always introduce your videos the same way. Yeah, like, that's my style. Do... Just mix it up a bit. Mix it up a bit, like what? I don't know, I'm not here for advice, I just have criticisms, that's all. Okay, yeah. well, I know what shots I want to do. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah I want to like basically hit the limiter on your bike in every gear. Oh man, With no. some like hardcore metal going da, 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 like that. I was thinking more like kind of yeah. slowly like riding through the country with some country music. No, um, no I'm thinking like do massive wheelie and jump over a humpback bridge and then you bring the drone down to film me and stuff. I don't know man, I, I don't even have a drone. Do you have a drone? Uh, yeah, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> okay, don't, you got, don't it. You got yeah, my back? I've got to get your back. I don't know. Well, let's get some other scenes too. Like, how about you, like sliding down the the slide over there? What you think I'm an idiot? Well, anyway, aside from that, I have you know I've been hearing kind of rumors about your bike. Well, actually, mate, uh, I've noticed you've been coveting my my ride for a while. I've wow, seen I've seen that. how you look at her. Well, yeah. you know, she's a nice looking girl. Yeah, she's. You know, she's been coming home late from work recently, yeah. and uh, funny thing, she doesn't even have a job. Yeah, so yeah. she's, you know, she's always like out with her friends. She she texts a lot. Um, so I, like, I got to admit, maybe it's time to pass pass it over. Let, you know, let her explore the wow. the surrounds and see Variety what's out there. Variety is the spice of life, bro. So they say. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if you don't mind, uh, yeah. I'm going to hand her over to you, but uh, yeah, yeah. please, please be gentle. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I don't want to be rude, but I think it's time for me to have a bit of quiet time with the old girl. So can you um, fuck off? Like now? Yeah. Off you go. Oh. Okay. Bus stops that way. Oh, all right. Can I, can I get some bus money? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll hook you up, bro. Don't worry. Oh, just, okay. uh, just clear off. All right, man. Good, good luck. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, baby. Don't worry. He's gone now. Alright guys, so finally made out to some nice twisties. I uh, can't remember what this place is called, but it's pretty popular with bikes. There's a uh, little service area nearby that was just full of bikes a minute ago. So hopefully we'll have some fun on this old R1. Uh, Andy, the owner of this bike, told me uh, I'm not using enough of the revs and I'm short shifting. So don't be afraid to thrash it, just, just get on with it really. So I'm going to follow his advice leave it in second gear the whole time probably. So what have I learned about the bike so far? Um, one thing that I want to say is when I read or watch other reviews from you know quite popular YouTube channels they all complain about how the Yamaha brakes suck. You know, they compare this bike to Italian bikes or German bikes and say uh, why don't Yamaha use Brembo's? is really wooden and it's not good, not good for feedback and all that. I'm having absolutely no complaints at all. I, I actually think these brakes feel really good. So these brakes are actually the same calipers that are used now on the the brand new MT-09. So they're, you know, they've obviously proven themselves to be good. Otherwise Yamaha would have changed them. So yeah, I don't think the brakes are awful as everyone says. Now on a road like this, uh, what about the suspension? Well, to be honest, this road has got a mix of, you know, nice, nice surface like this. And then it goes into bumpy um, concrete type surface. And it's holding itself really well, I think. It's quite well composed. You get on the throttle and it doesn't, you know, pogo like other bikes do. And these metal grids I just went over. You know, it soaks up those really well. Doesn't feel unsettled or scary. So, yeah. I think it's... Uh, a well set up bike as, as it goes. Now it's, it's fairly old and it's got 30,000 kilometers on it but yeah I'm, I'm not feeling like it's old in any way. I'm, so yeah as far as I'm concerned it's good. Now the engine is quite peaky so like Andy said you know don't be afraid to use the revs because if you do short shift you, you'll never get in the bow band. 
which I have found to be true. So I'm, I don't think I've even touched the gears yet. <laughs> but on faster roads where we're going to next, I think this bike will really come alive. For now on these sort of narrow twisties, it's it's good fun still, but you do feel like, ah, oh, I really want to wring its neck, but then the next corner comes up, you have to jump on the brakes again, so. Yeah, it definitely has its place, this bike, which is the track and really, really fast roads. Out the way, K-Car. shaking itself to death or it's gonna you know jump jump out on you so it comes up for me shower and I guess the calipers in this end doesn't say but uh, they know what they're doing so don't be put off by what the big reporters say who are spoiled by you know luxury super bikes all the time in the real world I don't think there's anything wrong with these brakes or suspension
All right guys, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. So today I had Andy's R1 for a full day and I have to say I had a great day. The last road we were just on now, Route 151, was perfect for this bike. Real high, much higher speeds and much um, more lean angle, which is where this bike lives. So as on my usual review videos, I do what's it like in town, what's it like on the highway. I didn't see the point with this bike. You know it's gonna be good on the highway and you know it's gonna suck in town, but it lives on roads like this. So thank you Andy for lending me your bike. So, final thoughts, my final conclusion is, yeah, it's a piece of shit and he can have it back. Hey.